up you guys welcome back to my channel and it is a beautiful day to be alive because we are doing a Gymshark X Whitney Simmons round two unboxing first impressions try on haul I don't usually like to film unboxings because I typically like to familiarize myself with the products before I film a video but I did watch Libby and Whitney's try on hauls support my besties make sure you go watch their videos like comment subscribe if you're not already but here i am with my whitney simmons unboxing why am i yelling look how cute the pr box is to begin with like are you kidding it's a beautiful day to be alive to be yourself to be happy to be body positive to be confident to feel your feelings i could go on all day but we also get this cute little journal gymshark whitney simmons it's a beautiful day to be you all these cute little journal prompts this is your daily reminder that you are beautiful we've created this journal for you to spend some time with yourself because you deserve it so cute and we have the little what is this called i don't know what this is called this is your daily reminder that, that you are beautiful beautiful in every sense of the word because beauty is about embracing what makes you you absolutely unwaveringly unapologetically you it's about owning your flaws and imperfections like no one else could you are you and that is beautiful love whitney simmons and the gym shark family I'm so here for this campaign, all the incredible women that Whitney chose for her campaign to shoot all the pieces. Uh, my heart is warm. So I'm not going to lie to you. I did put on the Moss Green <laughs> shorts and sports bra set. I honestly couldn't wait at that point. I was out of town after I got my package. I left my package in LA and I didn't touch it because I really wanted to film an unboxing but I wasn't able to film it until today and I put on the set so I'm guilty of trying it on but this is my first impressions of the rest of the box I do want to give you guys my measurements before we get started I am 5 foot 5 160 pounds 43 inch glutes 28 inch waist 28 29 inch waist I'm a little thick because of COVID and 34 double D boobs and I ordered a medium in all pieces so when we open the box, I'm gonna tilt you guys a little bit. We had small technical difficulties, but I am tilting you guys just a bit. So he's bone. <laughs> so when you open the box, ah, there is a mirror and drawers in Whitney Simmons PR box. It says you because you are beautiful and you get to look at yourself and tell yourself you're beautiful. So the drawers have pieces in it. Here is my moss green set. I actually didn't wash it yet because I didn't have time. I was at the gym yesterday and it's a little dirty. So when I do the try on, please do not judge me. Moss green sports bra and the shorts. We have Amazon shorts. Cyber red shorts. These are all high waisted and black shorts. Whitney high rise shorts, black, yes, size medium. And then we have the unbleached bra colorway, the black bra, and the uh, chocolate. And then we also have Amazon leggings in medium. These are the normal high rise leggings. We have ribbed waist leggings in moss green, chocolate regular high rise leggings. and the pink haze leggings as well that's it for the pr box and then i also received the cyber red sports bra
Moss Green Recovery Hoodie. Unbleached Recovery Hoodie. Unbleached Fitted Jogger. And the Chocolate Recovery Hoodie. All right, you guys, so this collection is a year in the making and somehow Miss Whitney Simmons was able to outdo herself. Just when we thought that her collection couldn't be any better, she managed to fix a lot of stuff on the new collection that I'll be talking about for you guys. And I'm just so excited and so proud of her. So I figured I might as well since I'm doing a first impressions, like put the pieces on while I talk about them versus like sitting down and explaining so you guys can like understand how I feel now that I got the new pieces on and what I noticed. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm starting with shorts, of course, because I am a shorts gal and I have on the Amazon colored shorts with the unbleached sports bra. There is no longer a keyhole in the sports bra, which could possibly be because of me. I am a chestier gal and I had a lot of like under boob in the version one bras just because coverage wise my bras tend like okay so when you wear like a sports bra it usually like sits under your boobs if you don't have like a bigger chest but my bras tend to like roll under my boobs so the keyhole would like roll under my boobs and then show a whole bunch of under teat <laughs> so they took the keyhole out of the new bra but still have the same line definition and I feel like there's a lot more coverage on the bras this year. There is no longer the infamous gold Whitney bar just because the bar was threaded in with like the basicest little stitch. Last year a lot of pieces were losing their bars when they were in the wash or while lifting in the gym, stuff like that. So she now has... Whitney Simmons embossed into the fabric. You can stretch, you can pull on it. It's been washed, it's been worn. They've done a lot of tests to make sure that you guys would be completely satisfied with your pieces. And I feel like the gold decals on Whitney's collection is what makes it so Whitney. It like makes it a little more, I don't know, like dressed up for the gym, a little more athleisurely. Oh. Let's just go ahead and slap my new paper clip necklace on. Like the daintiness of her collection, the simple colors, even with her version one, plus the gold detailing, is just so incredibly cute. There is still the gold bar on the back of the bra with the little, I guess this is a keyhole in the back. Cute little V-neck design. The bra just fits so good. It's not digging or pulling anywhere. And I love just, I feel like the scoop neck is like wide to where it doesn't look like racer backy. I feel like it's a more like feminine cutesy vibe because we want to feel like a bad beat in the gym, you know? And then we still have the it's a beautiful day to be alive in the fabric. I just put my boobs all on the camera and I'm probably going to get demonetized, but that's okay. Whitney, you're worth the demonetization. <laughs> there is an it's a beautiful day to be alive in every single piece of Whitney's collection. And I think it is just such a great opportunity to remind us to be grateful, no matter what your circumstances are, every single day. Sometimes you can see it on the fabric, other times you cannot. I'll be sure to show you guys as we go through the rest of the collection. But as I was saying before, everything has been pre-washed and pre-worn, so there should be no tarnishing or any issues with the embossment of the Whitney Simmons falling off of your pieces this year. And now I was gonna say I don't know what shows in this colorway, but I'm personally not a fan of pads. I know if you were to like hand wash and air dry all of your pieces, then the pads wouldn't bunch up. But as soon as removable pads get like that dent in them, you can always see them through the fabric. So here is me with no pads in and no nipples are showing in the unbleached, which is the lightest colorway. So that is good. To now. So now for the shorts. I'm gonna turn y'all a little bit. So now for the shorts, I feel like the inseam is a perfect length. A lot of our Gymshark shorts do tend to be a lot longer, so we're all typically hiking them up just to get that more flattering 
length on our shorts. I know I have thick short legs, so biker short, like Bermuda vibes just do not look well on my legs. I look very like stumpy and I feel like these shorts fit perfectly. The new waistband on the shorts and the leggings of the high-waisted. I haven't tried on the rib leggings yet, which I'm super excited about, but there's a new seam on the version two of the shorts and the high waist Whitney legging, and it is a flat lock seam, so it lays perfectly flat on your body. It is very flattering. It does not dig anywhere. I'm very comfortable in these shorts, and I feel like they're sucking me in perfectly to the point where I feel like my waist is snatched, but I don't feel like it's making me like spill over at all. I don't know how she did it, but she did do it. We still have the cute detailing on the back of the Whitney High Rise shorts and Whitney High Waist legging. The cute little laser cut detailing in the back is now a different shape, which I think is so cute. Cute little detail for the new version. There is still the triangle seam in the back, which is very flattering on the bootay. And her new high rise leggings her new leggings in general and the shorts have this the most incredible butt scrunch I have ever seen in my whole entire life. There is a rubber stitching in the butt. That pulls the seam perfectly so that it sits perfectly in your cheek but you do not see it while it's on because it's also in the shorts that I have on in the Amazon color. It does not show when you have your leggings on like the butt scrunch that are on a lot of other leggings, not necessarily Gymshark leggings, but the ones that like ripple in your crack. <laughs> this looks like it would ripple, but they don't ripple at all. And I feel like Gymshark just took into account and Whitney because Whitney knows that we love our butt wedgies that we all love the opportunity to pull stuff into the crack to give like the cheek accentuation because we don't like unibuds and she just nailed it i'm like in awe of how she made the butt look so good i'm literally staring at my butt in the viewfinder <laughs> i i am blown away because it just doesn't compare the camo butt scrunch is just nothing in comparison to this Whitney butt scrunch and I'm very grateful with it. For a more detailed look before I switch colorways, here are the shorts with the flat lock seam. It's a very, very flat seam. So it's not digging, it's not bulging, it's not pudging anywhere when it sits on your waist. Here is the embossed Whitney Simmons stretches it's not gonna crack it's not gonna peel they've washed and worn everything tested them to be sure that you guys we're not gonna lose the most important part of the collection supporting our girl wit here is the back with the flat lock the cute little laser detailing and the butt scrunch without it on the bum it is a little intimidating it is indeed a little intimidating but you will see when you put it on your body that it sits perfectly on your butt. I quite possibly might have just filmed a TikTok in this set and then took it off and then put it back on. <laughs> and the bra is like wet because I have a lot of boob sweat and I see no proof of sweat whatsoever. I don't see any sweat in the shorts as well and they are damp y'all. So we have sweat proof -ness. Glad I filmed a TikTok. I'm also making filming this haul way longer than it needs to be. But I did want to just mention filming my woo off. You ready? We 
get money or get her own thing. That's fun. Also wearing the moss green outfit to the gym. The shorts do tend to roll, but I think it's just because my thighs are so thick, like my quads stick out that it rolls the shorts like into the cuff of my leg. You'll see? Woo walk test. So the shorts roll a little bit, but it's not, I literally every single pair of shorts that I've ever worn in my whole entire life tend to roll, unless I do wear them at a, at a biker length which I personally don't prefer, so <laughs> leave me alone. She wants to play. Um, so totally normal, still in love. And here we have the moss green I already wore this set, so I'm not gonna pretend that I'm shook, but I am shook. This is the most pretty, like, sage green color. It has a bit of, like, a almost like a teal undertone, baby, bluish. I can't even begin to describe. So cute with the gold. I don't know how she manages to pick out the perfect colorways that just complement the gold so well. They are dirty, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. I Rubbing dumbbells on my clothes at the gym, I, I always end up with black marks all over my clothes, but they fit so well. This green color is so pretty. Here is the Cyber Red colorway. It's like a hot pink, but with a hint of red undertone. It is so perfect. I feel like most of her collection, a lot of fall neutral colors, besides the beautiful blue, which I don't have. I can't even believe how good this like neon complements my skin complexion. We have the same gold detailing. The back of the bra. And the shorts fit perfect. I don't notice any sizing inconsistencies just yet, but I'm pretty sure with you to make sure everything fits the same. So cute, wow. I was not expecting to be this taken aback by the black, but it is just so sleek. Ooh, ooh. Wow, the black and gold is just a look. I wish I had black leggings. I don't have black leggings. I would make it a whole outfit. So cute. It's the same, no sizing inconsistencies. Sorry for the lighting change. The sun is about to go down because I took a break from filming, but I did just take off the black Whitney bra and the high-waisted shorts and wanted to show you guys the cute little, it's a beautiful day to be alive. But I now have on the ribbed Whitney leggings and the same bra in the moss green colorway. I do just feel like there's a lot more tummy control in the ribbed leggings just because it is a thicker fabric in the ribbing versus the same fabric on the Whitney high-waisted legging. So if you do prefer more tummy control, I would suggest the ribbed over the regular high-waisted, but if you're in between sizes for the ribbed collection, I would definitely recommend sizing up. There's just a little more compression in these leggings, I feel like overall. It does have the same composition as the high-waisted legging, but I just feel a lot more sucked in in the ribbed, which technically I don't really prefer if I'm being honest. I do like the Whitney High Rise 
a little bit better than the ribbed but this is a great option for those of you who want a little more like skin smoothing sucked in compression feel it still has the triangle butt in the back and the same booty scrunch. The ribbed collection also has this really cute scrunched ankle. I am treating all you foot fetish weirdos that might be watching this video. And the It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive is also on ankle. Super duper cute. I now have on the regular Whitney high-rise legging with the moss green bra and the leggings in Amazon. I just left the green bra, the moss green on because this is a super cute color combo. She always does a great job of like picking color combinations that mix and match really well. I can definitely say that I prefer the regular Whitney high-rise legging. There's no cam cam in the ribbed or the high-rise regular Whitney legging. It has the same waistband as the high-waisted shorts, the double flat lock stitching, and then everything else is the same. And then it has the same back as the shorts with the double stitching, the detailing and the little laser cuts and the triangle bootay with the scrunch booty as well. Oh my God. This is just so cute. Wow. Here is another super cute color combination, the Whitney high rise leggings in the haze pink and the bra in chocolate. I think the pink really brings out like this purpley cherry brown undertone that they have in the chocolate color. Such a cute color combo, same gold detailing. I feel like the haze pink leggings is a perfect tone of pink for the fall. It's like the, it's almost like a mauve nude vibe, but pink and I love me some pink. Blush pink's actually my favorite color, so Whitney really sold me with this one. And chocolate everything, from the chocolate vital until now, I'm just shook at this chocolate color. I also forgot to mention that the regular high waist leggings do not have the same ankle de detailing. It is a like true seventh eighth length. I'm five foot five and they fit really well. I do have some slack at the knee so I could pull them down a bit, but I tend to pull my leggings up a little higher to get that nice booty accentuation, you know? I am pretty much in a race to beat the sun at this point, but I think I could keep this chocolate set on for the rest of my whole entire time on this planet. It is so beautiful. It's gonna complement everybody's skin color so incredibly well. This is hands down my favorite pieces out of the whole collection, especially for the cutest little fall vibe. We also have the Whitney Recovery hoodie, hoodie, I'm delirious at this point, in chocolate. If you have any of the Pippa collection, Pippa training, like, like the joggers or the jacket, the new Whitney stuff has that same super lightweight feel. It's not like a heavy duty jacket. It's like perfect to throw on over the gym before you lift and stuff. I know some of you guys live in the cold. I do not. But even in LA, this is like so lightweight that I could totally wear this even while I'm training if I want to break a little bit more of a sweat. This is so cute. Wow. We have the cute little Whitney Simmons on the sleeve. How cute is this? The gold aglets, the Whitney Simmons on the sleeve, and the Whitney Simmons on the leggings. And it's a beautiful day to be alive. I tend to chew on my jackets, hood strings, so I hope I don't chew that off, but this is so cute.
Whitney. This unbleached set. These are the Whitney fitted joggers and the recovery hoodie. I am blown away. This unbleached color is quite literally perfect. The crop hoodies are the perfect length. I even have on the chocolate bra underneath and you can't see it. So that goes to show that the unbleached color is not too sheer. Although you can see the pockets just because the pockets are like right under the leggings. It makes it a little bit darker. You cannot see the bootay. This is so cute. Oh my God. We have the gold aglets on the waistband ties and still the cute little it's a beautiful day to be alive and the same detailing that's on the ribbed whitney leggings we have on the joggers which i feel like just makes this set look so much cuter honestly than the, the typical like tapered bottom like almost like a hoodie and and the way that the sleeves just taper in at the bottom with the little Whitney Simmons on the sleeve. Wow. You have truly outdone yourself. This is the last piece that I have, which is the moss green recovery hoodie. And I'm just so glad I got so many of these recovery hoodies. I didn't know that they would be this lightweight, but these are literally perfect for the Los Angeles fall time. It doesn't get very cold here. Such a beautiful color. Wow. So that is all the pieces that I have to try on for you guys, but there are a ton more pieces releasing in this collection including the beautiful blue which i didn't get to show you guys which i will add a picture of that in this video right here we also have the long sleeve crop tops coming out in the black amazon haze pink cyber red and unbleached the long line tee which is an oversized t-shirt that is also launching in those same five colors and the swing tank which is coming out in the black moss green beautiful blue and cyber red so there are more fuller length tops for those of you who don't want to go to the gym in sports bras and we also have the high rise shorts will be in black amazon moss green beautiful blue and cyber red the high rise leggings are in all colors besides the unbleached because we did not want to do a white legging and the rib waist leggings are coming out in all colors besides the unbleached and the haze pink and there's also black recovery hoodies and fitted joggers coming out as well. Sorry if this is a lot of information. I just want you guys to know all the different colorways that we'll be releasing and all the different pieces. There is yet another reversible bomber jacket. Of course, Whitney had to bring it back in the black and unbleached color, which I did not order because I feel like I don't get a lot of usage of too many jackets in Los Angeles. And she also has two gym bags coming out in the black and unbleached colorway as well. I can't believe I've waited this long to tell you, but launch day is this upcoming Thursday, October 29th. Happy late birthday to me, Whitney. Thank you so much for this version two launch. It will be launching at 12 p.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2 p.m. Central Time, and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. If you live in a different time zone, feel free to type in like 12 p.m. Pacific time to UK time or Canada time. And I definitely suggest loading an athlete link beforehand and refreshing at the time of launch. Having a Gymshark account is crucial just so you can log in and have all your information saved prior and check out as fast as possible. Gymshark has put a ton of stock in this collection because Whitney's collection did sell out last year. So I'm hoping you guys get your hands on all these pieces. If you would like to shop my link, it'll be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video. And I did just want to tell Whitney that I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for this next collection. I know everybody's going to love it. I'm truly shook that you were even able to outdo yourself more than you already did last year. I wish we were able to have a pop-up but I will always be rooting for you and...